With November, we take steps closer to the solstice. In the northern hemisphere, winter approaches in earnest. In the southern, the sun is welcomed back and temperatures continue to rise. The November night sky this month is also a time of astronomical activity, with active meteor showers, planetary close approaches, and even a few extra astronomical events we don't get every month. Hopefully, the skies will be clear and dark for you to enjoy at least one, or to get out for one of these other astronomical events happening in the November night sky. November 1st to 9th, Comet Tsuchinshan Atlas slowly slides upward from the bell-shaped constellation Ophiuchus into Aquila the Eagle and should still be visible in binoculars from a dark sky before the moon grows too bright. Best viewing time is early evening right after dusk, when the comet stands highest in the southwestern sky. November 5th, peak of the southern torrid meteor shower. As I mentioned last month, here's been some debate over when the southern torrids will peak this year. Some sources say it's October 10th, others November 5th. I've included this one in both my October and November guides. Even though astronomers aren't quite sure about when this long, relatively wide band of debris really peaks, either date will be a great night to get out and go stargazing, if your skies are clear. November 12th, peak of the northern torrids meteor shower. On the night of November 12th, head outside to try and spot the northern Torrid's meteors as this shower peaks in activity on the 12th. The Torrid's run from approximately October 20th to November 30th. On the night of peak activity, you can spot up to 10 meteors per hour. Best of all, the moon will be completely in its new phase and 0% illuminated no light interference tonight. Look for the Torrid's radiant point in the constellation of Taurus. For most people, it will be in the eastern or southern sky depending on your location. Keep your eyes peeled in the general direction of Taurus, but look around that area of the night sky to spot meteors with longer tails. November 15th, Mercury at its evening peak. Mercury is our sun's innermost planet. This means it always appears close to the sun and is lost in the sun's glare much of the time, observable for only a few weeks each time it reaches its greatest separation from the sun, aka greatest elongation. This repeats once every three to four months in the morning and evening skies, depending on whether Mercury lies to the east of the sun or to the west. On November 15th, the elusive Mercury will be back in the west after sunset and reach its greatest apparent distance from the sun in our sky. So, on the 15th, remember to look west, shortly after sunset for Mercury. November 16th, Uranus at Opposition. The term opposition refers to the alignment between the sun, the earth, and another object in our solar system. It's when we sit in the middle, kind of like the alignment of an eclipse over huge distances. When opposition occurs, the object on the other side of the sun, in opposition to the sun, is brightly illuminated and great for viewing. November 16th, Uranus will reach opposition. Lying in the constellation Taurus, it will be visible for much of the night, reaching its highest point in the sky around midnight local time. November 16th, full moon. The moon will reach full phase. At this time of the month, it is visible for much of the night, rising at around dusk and setting at around dawn. The sequence of full moons that fall through the year are sometimes assigned names, such as the beaver moon, according to the months and seasons in which they fall. November 17th, peak of the Leonids meteor shower. As the end of the calendar year gets closer, there are more meteor showers to enjoy. Why? That's just how our orbit works, as we cross the debris paths of comets and asteroids during our celestial dance. The Leonids meteor shower occurs in the November night sky for most of the month, but the night of peak activity is November 18th this year. If you're out this night, look for up to 15 meteors per hour depending on your location. It's also possible to see Leonids each night between November 15th and 20th. I've got a full guide to this meteor shower if you want to try and see it.
the Leonids appear from a radiant point in the constellation Leo, which will be in the northeastern sky for most people. If you can spot the Big Dipper plow, you're in the right part of the sky to spot some shooting stars. November 21st, Alpha Monoceratid Meteor Shower. This year, the Alpha Monoceratid Meteor Shower will be active from November 15th to November 25th and will produce its peak rate of meteors around November 21st. The radiant point will be highest in the sky after dawn, so the shower is likely to produce its best displays shortly before dawn when its radiant point is highest. Unfortunately, the moon, in Cancer, will be around the last quarter phase at the shower's peak, so it'll present significant interference in the pre-dawn sky. November 28th, peak of the November Orionids meteor shower. Everyone gets excited about the October Orionids. Did you know there's another Orionid shower in November? While it runs from November 13th to December 6th, the shower is expected to have peak activity on the night of November 28th. This isn't a particularly active shower, like the October Orionids or any others this month, and the maximum ZHR is expected to be 3 per hour. To spot these meteors, look in the general area of the constellation Orion. You don't need to look right at the radiant point to spot them. Instead, sweep your eyes through that area of the sky. Close Approaches and Lunar Occultations in November Like 2023, 2024 is a big year for lunar occultations, that is, times when the moon passes in front of other objects in the night sky. Here are the close approaches and lunar occultations in November. November 4th, close approach of the moon and Venus, 3 degrees 0 5 minutes apart in Ophiuchus. November 10th, lunar occultation of Saturn, visible in Central America and Northern South America otherwise a close approach just 4.7 apart in Aquarius. November 11th, lunar occultation of Neptune, visible to those on the eastern part of North America. November 17th, close approach of the Moon and Jupiter, 5 degrees 36 minutes apart in Taurus. November 20th, close approach of the Moon and Mars, 2 degrees 19 minutes apart in Cancer. Have other questions about these astronomical events in the November night sky, or how to see them? Let me know in the comments. For space updates, subscribe to Secrets of Space.